My three favorite things about the four day work week and flex Fridays is that it facilitates learning at work. It helps me establish balance and that it makes me a productive employee. I truly believe that the four day work week and flex Fridays work at Cockroach Labs because we have a framework and a toolkit that enables its success. Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Amrita and I work as a senior technical writer at Cockroach Labs in New York City. In my last video, I talked about my theme for 2020, which is finding balance. And I talked about how the four day work week and flex Friday policy at Cockroach Labs helps me find balance in my life. And that really caught people's attention. It drove a lot of conversation and I got a lot of questions about how does the policy work. And I thought it would be interesting to vlog about it and to show you how I use the policy instead of just telling you about it. So that's what you're going to see in this video. You're going to see a vlog about my four day work week and flex Friday. But before we jump into the vlog, I have two points to discuss. The first is that I am acutely aware that having a four day work week and flex Fridays is a privilege. I'm extremely blessed to work at a company that genuinely cares about its employees' well-being and wants to help them live their best lives. I'm very aware that not everybody in tech has access to a policy like this, that this is a privilege and I do not take it for granted. And the second is that even within Cockroach Labs, not every team uses the policy in the same way. Every role is different, every team is different, every person is in a different situation. So even within the company, you will see variations about how people choose to implement or not implement this policy. So the vlog you are about to see is not the right or the wrong way to do it, it's just my way to use the policy. Okay, now that we are clear on those two important things, let's watch the vlog and then we'll come back and discuss what we saw. Good morning. Uh, today is Monday and it is 9.27 in the morning and I'm just getting started with my week. The key to making a four day work week successful is planning and self-awareness. Our team, that is the education team, starts off each week by posting our updates on Slack and each member of the team shares what they worked on the previous week, what they plan to work on this week and any problems or blockers we might be facing. I love this way of starting of the week because it gives me a chance to review or refresh my memory of what I was working on in the previous week. And it also gives me a chance to review the tasks on my to-do list so that I can prioritize and pick one or two tasks that are like the most important tasks for the week. If I complete those tasks, then I can consider the week to be successful. I also take this time to go through my calendar and kind of plan when I'm going to do each of those tasks. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to record my screen so you can see what I'm seeing and then I'll walk you through it. Okay, so this is what I look at every Monday morning. This is the GitHub projects for our team. This is where all of us post the tasks planning to work on for the week. We use two week sprints. So we are currently in the second week of the current sprint. And I already worked on these tasks last week and these are currently in review. These are the things I need to work on and this is my to-do list. So the two most important tasks for this week are the support ticket analysis and the release notes for our cloud platform. The second thing I'm going to do is look at my calendar and this is what my week looks like. So I have a lot of meetings on Tuesdays and Wednesdays uh, but I don't really have any meetings on Mondays and Thursdays. So I block that time off for myself to focus on the most important tasks for the week. I do have two meetings today, um, but I don't need to be in office to attend them. I'm just going to attend them remotely from home so that I don't spend time getting ready and commuting to work. And I can instead use that time to focus on the most important task for the week. Hello again. Um, so I just finished the support ticket analysis and it is 12.16 right now. So I have been right here for the past three hours. Uh, I took a coffee break uh, at around like 11.30, but I'm done with one of the most important tasks for the week. Uh, so it's a really good productive start um, to the work week that I'm very happy about. So it is currently 12.17 uh, p.m. and I have a meeting at 1.30. So I'm gonna go get a quick lunch and then I'm going to prep for the meeting. Can you hear us okay? Mm-hmm. 
So I just got done with one of the two meetings for the afternoon and the second meeting actually got cancelled. So I have an extra half an hour to do my own work. Um, I'm going to use that time to knock off some of the smaller, less intense issues of my to-do list. And then I'm going to fix myself a snack. And then I'm going to start prepping the second major task of the week, which is the release notes. Hi, so it is 5.40 p.m. now and I did a bunch of things since the last update. I did a lot of low energy, low concentration administrative stuff um, like emails and Slack. I also reviewed a couple of things that my coworker wanted me to like review and give my feedback on. So I did that and I think I'm going to call it a day. It has been a very productive start to the week. I'm very happy about the amount of work I have accomplished uh, today. And that's it for me for today and I'll check with you tomorrow. Hi, uh, so I got back from work and it is currently 6.44 p.m. and I wanted to give you a quick update. What I wanted to show you is the calendar. So we are here. Today was a very productive day. Um, so the stuff that you see in blue are the meetings and then the things in green is my time tracker calendar. So I added another calendar uh, to my Google Cal so I can track how much time I spend on a task so that the next time I have to do the same task, I'll have an idea of how much time I need to allocate to it. Um, so today was a good day. I had like a bunch of meetings and then I had some free time in between when I worked on the release notes thing, which is the second most important task for the week and tomorrow uh, again I have like back to back meetings which is the way I prefer because then I can just turn on my social mode and just talk to people and uh, get information and I also have like a chunk of free time that I'll probably use for release notes again and then on Thursday I've dedicated the entire day to finish off the release notes. I don't think it's going to take that long so I'll probably pick up some other tasks on Thursday but I've just allocated time for it just in case I need it and yeah that's my update for today and I will check in with you tomorrow hi so today's Wednesday and it is 6 54 p.m. and I just came home from a day of meetings. I started the day with eight meetings on my calendar and my calendar is usually not this full. So I kind of wanted to take a moment to clarify that today was a very rare event. Three of the meetings were monthly meetings, which means they happen only once a month, but by a rare coincidence, they all got scheduled on the same day. Uh, one of the meetings was a one-on-one -on -one with my manager. We meet every week to sync up and make sure that I'm on the right track and that I'm focusing on the right things. One of the meetings is what we call a donut meeting, which is just some time set aside to connect with a coworker and then you can go out of the office, go for a walk, just get a coffee. And I really, really value the donut meetings because we are in a very fast paced, intense environment. Like we are a startup, so obviously work can get super intense sometimes and I like having a group of people that check in on me and that I check in on so that we all make sure that we are doing okay and that has been amazing for my mental health. And then two of the meetings got cancelled so I actually had two hours free that I used to work on the release notes. So I just wanted to take a moment to acknowledge that we are very mindful about our meetings, we are very respectful about our own times and everybody else's time. So we do a periodic review of meetings and make sure that all the meetings are worthwhile and we also have this policy of opting out of a meeting. So if there is a meeting on my calendar that I feel is not a good use of my time or that I cannot add any significant value to the meeting I can just opt out of it but overall it has been a very productive day I got a lot of information and insight into the things coming up next so I can plan my work but now I'm really tired so I'll check back with you tomorrow hi uh, so today is Thursday and it is 12 27 p.m. right now and I am working from home today Today is the day that I reserved to work on the release notes and I was so anxious to start working on them that I forgot to record a clip in the morning. 
Uh, so this is a midday update uh, telling you what I'm doing. So I just finished writing the first draft of the release notes and now I'm assigning it to other people to review it and then I'll work on their review feedback. I have a bit of downtime now uh, before people send me their comments and then I can work on it again. So while other people review my PR, I'm going to review other people's PRs. Okay, so update. It is 5.49 p.m. on Thursday and I am done with the release notes. Um, I just have one more review to go uh, and once it's done, I can merge the PR. Uh, but I anyways have to merge the PR on Monday so I can wait for the final review. Um, but yeah, I'm done with the two most important tasks for the week. I also worked on a bunch of other smaller tasks. I reviewed the PRs for my fellow tech writer and I worked on some smaller issues and then knocked them off my to-do list. So I'm going to flip the camera now so you can see the sprint board at the end of the week. And I'm very happy with how it looks and all the things that I've achieved in the week. So this is how my sprint board looks at the end of the week. I have these things in review which are part of the release notes document. So once the release notes PR is merged, I can just close them and then they'll move to the done uh, column. And I'm also happy with all the things that I actually closed this week, which is awesome. I still have two things on my uh, to-do list and my in-progress list that I'll move to the next sprint because I did not get to them this week. Um, but overall, it has been a super productive uh, week. I'm very happy with it. And I'll check back with you tomorrow for Flex Friday. And that brings us to today. Today is Friday and it is 1.39 p.m. right now. My favorite thing to do on Fridays is to just sleep in. So I woke up at around 9 and then I had coffee and breakfast. I had a video call with my parents in India. I also attended a yoga class. So it has been a very restful, chill Friday so far. And for the rest of the day, I'm going to work on this YouTube video. That's what I usually do on Fridays. I consider Fridays to be time dedicated for creative side projects, learning and experimentation. I read this excellent article about learning at work. It talks about how our jobs in the software industry are kind of based on continuous learning, but companies don't usually make space or time for it. And I find that Flex Fridays facilitate learning at work. It allows me to take risks, to follow my creative impulses, to learn and grow, and more importantly, fail. It makes it okay to try something, fail <laughs> miserably and then learn from the failures. We also have a dedicated learning is good program, which gives me the monetary resources to take a course or to attend an event, anything that can help me on this learning journey. I have learned so much through my Flex Friday projects over the last two years. I built this entire YouTube channel on Flex Fridays. I have learned Python. I have learned how to build apps using SQL. I did my entire DevRel experiment on Fridays. Having a day each week dedicated to learning and experimentation has leveled up my career. It has also helped me find work-life balance. I find that Flex Fridays kind of work as an easy transition into the weekend. When I used to work five days a week, I used to cram all my side projects into the weekend. So I didn't really get a chance to disconnect and decompress and recharge. But now that I have a day for side projects, I'm more willing to do other things on the weekends. So that's my second favorite thing about Flex Fridays is that it helps me establish work-life balance. And finally, the four day work week and Flex Fridays policy have made me a more productive and efficient employee. Because I'm aware that I only have four days to accomplish most of my tasks, I'm much more more mindful about how I use my time. I'm more mindful about planning my days and prioritizing my tasks. I'm also more mindful about what are the times of the day that I'm most productive and what are my slump times. Also how the space or the environment affects my productivity. So understanding my work habits and then designing the week that facilitates my best work took a lot of experimentation. And that brings us to not the cons but considerations for implementing a four day work week at your company. I am lucky to work at a company that not only has this policy, but also has the framework and a toolkit that facilitates the use of this policy. And the framework I'm talking about are our four key values. Commit to excellence, respect, balance, 
and transparency. And I do not think that we would have been able to successfully implement the four day work week and flex Friday policies if we did not have these four key values. The first value is commit to excellence, which is something that we live by every day. I feel like all the people that I work with are extremely talented, are really good at their jobs and are very ambitious and they want to do their best work. And that is where commit to excellence comes into the picture. We want to do our best work. We want to build something that we are all proud of. And the company as a whole is very aware of this fact. And so they implement policies that help people do their best work and live their best lives. The second value is respect. We respect each other. We respect our skills. We respect that every person knows the job they're supposed to do. So if I'm working from home, my manager and my team trust that I'm doing my job. They respect my mental makeup enough to know that I cannot focus in the office and for me to do my best work, I need to work from home some days. This is also enabled by a third value, which is transparency. The whole process that you saw about GitHub projects and GitHub issues and PRs, it all enables transparency. So at any point, my team or my manager can go into GitHub projects and see what I'm working on. So I find that respect and transparency kind of feed off of each other. And these three values enable the fourth value, which is establishing balance. And I truly believe that having this framework of values that everyone at the company follows is what enables the four day work week and flex Fridays. And that's what I want to stress in this video. If you have only one takeaway from this video, let it be this. Only implementing a four day work week at your company might not work unless you also have the framework and the toolkit that enables its success. And also, if you institute a four day work week, give your employees enough time and the freedom to figure out how to make that work for them. Even I don't use Flex Fridays the same way every week. Last week, I actually worked the whole day because it was a short week. Monday was a holiday for President's Day and I had a lot of work to get through. So I just worked the whole day on Friday. And next week, I'm taking Friday off to travel to Philadelphia for an event. And this is just how I use Flex Fridays. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, different people and different teams within the company use Flex Fridays as per their requirements. We have a really good blog series about how different people and different teams use the Flex Friday policy at Cockroach Labs. I'll leave a link to the blog series in the description box below. And if you think that the four day work week and the Flex Friday policy makes Cockroach Labs a really cool place to work, you're absolutely right. And you should come work with us. I will leave a link to all the open positions in the description box below. If you want more information about any of the open positions, feel free to connect with me on Twitter. I hope this video was interesting and thank you so much for watching. Bye.